Um, this year really is, is what we're calling year one of the restoration of the aircraft to an airworthy condition. Um, for those of you that saw a last year, you'll have seen that we did a, a complete survey of the aircraft, a paint strip, um, looked at the condition of the outer skins, uh, looked into various areas on the aircraft to uh, then produce the work packs required um, to make the aircraft airworthy. Um, the plan is, so this is year one, so what we're doing with the project is breaking it down into winter seasons. So this being year one, the, the main work for this season, uh, this winter restoration, is the complete bust down and rebuild of the starboard tail fin and rudder system. This is the, obviously the port, so the, the vertical fin and rudder. So they've been completely bust down, um, surveyed, repaired and rebuilt. And starboard side again, so right hand side, the trailing edge has been taken off for survey and some repair work. And the starboard inner, inner engine, so number three engine, has been removed to allow some parts to be NDT and tested behind them. So obviously first thing, everything was taken off because it was required to be off. Um, we had some jigs made for the fin and rudder for the starboard side. Uh, they came off the aircraft onto the jigs and again were drilled and, and bussed down uh, from that point. So a little bit later on I'll take you around to show you the progress with the fin and rudder. Um, starboard side, we're taking off the starboard inner engine, which is the number three engine, which is on the power plant stand directly behind us, which you can look at um, after the tour. So that engine comes off as its power plant, so that's engine, engine bearers, radiator, uh, basically bulkhead forward, uh, comes off in one section and sits on the power plant stand. Then that leaves the, the bulkhead and the subframe, which come off in one section. And then after that, we had the undercarriage support beams to take off as well. So the main aim for taking all that off uh, this season was to test the undercarriage support beams. Um, the undercarriage support beams are a, a large cast or forged aluminium section. And if I have one strong person, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So this is an undercarriage support beam. So it's an aluminium cast item, or forged item, which is then machined and wasted away in certain areas and holes drilled. Now at the top here, so the, the face where my right hand is sits on the main spar of the aircraft. So that's the forward face of the main spar. And then this protrudes forwards. On the bottom end there is where the undercarriage is bolted to it. The top end here, there's a big bolt that runs through here through the top spar and a big bolt that runs through to the bottom spar with more bolts through the web of the spar. The top one here, these lugs, is where the um, subframe bolts on. And at the very bottom, um, you should have the bottom of the subframe and the undercarriage. So there's two of these on each side. Um, both of them have been <coughs> MDT, so all the holes have been eddy current tested to make sure there's no cracking around the holes and it's passed as, as perfectly serviceable as it came out of the factory, effectively. Okay, put them back now. It is quite heavy, so we will put it down. <coughs> <coughs> we'll, we'll leave this here. Uh, quite high up there, about that, that, that bit. Whereabouts was it cracked on the, the Canadian? On the Canadian one, it was about through here. So, I mean, a hell of a force to crack that material through there. So, now there's got crack then, then. A uh, heavy landing apparently. Yeah. So if you're landing with a crosswind and things and one yeah. wheel hits first yeah. heavily, yeah. Uh, then all that pressure is, tr is transferred through this back yeah. into the spar. And obviously this is given through. Well, it had been just the one that would have done yeah. it on. Right, Andrew was talking about the starboard side of the aircraft number three engine. Unfortunately, I've got no video of the support, uh, undercarriage support beams being taken off. These were taken off by Brad and Keith. This piece of video was taken a year after Andrew's talk. It is the port side. It shows John and Jerb struggling like anything to get the undercarriage support beams on. The bottom, uh, there's two large bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom, go through the, the go through the spar. And it was the bottom bolt what seized into the casting and it was heck of a job for them to get off. They worked for quite a number of hours. I got there and watched them two hours just before they got it off and it was a really hard job. Come on. Yes.
So those who come back from NDT, all services have all been painted up and they're ready to go back on the aircraft. Uh, so the first stage of rebuild of that uh, project is to, uh, to paint the, fit the front face of the front spar. So for that we need a little bit of heat in the hangar. As you can tell the heating is not working right now. Um, so hopefully today on Monday the engineer is coming out to fix that which will mean we can then paint the front face of the front spar and bolt these items back on. We've got Brad holding the socket on while Keith uses the extension bar. When they're back on, um, hopefully the subframe will have returned to us from being uh, painted. So that'll be next week. And then we can start to build everything back up again and put the engine back on. Onto that subframe is the bulkhead. So the bulkhead is laid down here. It's, um, it's steel which is tinned, um, so it acts as a firewall. So it's a firewall bulkhead as well, which stops any fire from the engine spreading back onto the wing. Um, on this bulkhead here you've got all the services, so you've got hydraulics, fuel, oil, everything that comes through from the wing route out to the engine. The bulkhead was assembled onto the subframe and all the relevant parts. This was undertaken by Brad inside the workshop. So it's all connected onto this here to allow quick disconnection to change the power plant. So you've got an engine fairly during wartime you would just remove the whole power plant section as is on the power plant stand back there and bolt a new one on. So everything can be disconnected from this bulkhead and removed from the aircraft. So as I said, you've got hydraulics down with the brass ones here. You've got fuel, fuel priming, oil. And up on the top section of the, uh, the panel here, we have things like uh, an oil and water trap, um, your booster coil, you've got your throttle box in here. So uh, all your throttle linkages that go back through to your engine as well. This has all come off, um, it's been cleaned, it's been um, bead blasted where required, um, it's all been checked, um, some repairs have been done, other repairs that need to be done have been noted into the work packs and it's painted up ready to go back on. So this sits on the forward face of the subframe. The subframe is basically a tubular structure um, 
I don't have a photo of it, but it sits between the, the undercarriage support beams and the bulkhead. And it transfers any stresses and any weight in a particular way across the aircraft to, uh, to make everything safe. And that subframe being a, a tubular structure, it can suffer corrosion on the insides of the tubes. Um, so that tubular structure subframe has been away for NDT, it's been x-rayed um, and we found the internals of the tubes to be very good um, but there are just some tubes that have got some chafing on them where various panels fit and various parts fit onto them. So it's come back to us, it's perfectly safe for taxiing but there are a couple of tubes that need replacing for airworthy. So that's uh, going to be uh, cleaned again, it'll go through paint, come back, have this built up, engine back on and go back on the aircraft and then within that work pack it will have a small section that says um, next time it comes off those tubes to be replaced uh, and can be classed as airworthy. So that work will be done when the centre section is worked on because it's all got to come back off again anyway. So once the, uh, the bulkhead and the subframe go back on we can then just bolt the power plant straight back on, uh, prop on, cowlings on, dome on and then that's all finished ready for the finish of this winter work. <coughs> um, a few more things we've worked on, this is the accessory.